Hi, I'm really, really nervous for this video. So I'm gonna follow along a Desi Perkins tutorial today. She did this amazing drippy school look and I'm gonna post her tutorial somewhere in the description or on the screen if I can so you can go check it out. I actually did this last year and I wanted to redo it because I wasn't super happy with how it turned out. Like it was okay, I'll post it somewhere on here. But I really wanna do like a pastel goth version of this. So I'm gonna follow her tutorial and kind of like put my own little twist on it. I know a lot of people are gonna ask me how I did this look, so I thought I would film it for you. I'm really scared though, this might turn out really bad. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things I'm gonna use before I even get started so that you know what you need if you wanna try this look. So the way that Desi did hers is she used face paint. I'm not gonna use as much face paint, for like the black and gray, I'd rather use eyeshadow. I just have more experience with blending eyeshadow. So that's what I did last year and it worked out fine. But I am gonna use this Ben Nye Clown White face paint. It just looks like this. I have never used it before. I dipped my claw into it, but that's about it. And then you are gonna need this Mehron 3D gel. So this stuff is how you're gonna do the drippy like skull melting effects. I do not know if they make this in other colors. It just says to create realistic skin and prosthetic pieces. Not everybody's skin is this color, so I sincerely hope that they make more colors, but I don't know if they do. I'm like looking at this thinking this is gonna be really dark, even for me. And then the last thing that I'm gonna use is this Ben Nye Neutral Set. So this is this colorless setting powder as opposed to something like my Hourglass one where it's got a little bit of a tint to it. Setting white eyeshadow or white paint you're gonna want a white powder for that. I've already done my primer. I just used my Fenty Soft Matte. I actually already tried to film this look and I already screwed it up. So I'm gonna put a little bit more where I wiped off some of the look. And I'm using her, this is a screenshot of her video. I'm using this as a reference. So this is what I'm trying to recreate. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to outline the little drippy bits with my white Sephora Collection Glide Liner. White is just really easy to wipe off if you fuck it up like I did. going right over the acne scar. Yeah, I feel like that's too thick, so I'm gonna redo part of this. I'm really not happy with that either. of this is like a rough draft because it looks really thick and bubbly and that's not how I want it to look but I think it's fine for now. Now that I have this side done I'm gonna start somewhere up here and do this part of my face. And I'm just kind of connecting it right here at the base of like where my little like nasal fold is. Now I'm going to apply some foundation to this half. So today I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs Extra Shot. So I'm kind of applying it over my lines. I can still see them though. They're not meant to stay there. You're not gonna be able to see this at the end. I just meant to give you kind of a guide. For concealer, I'm using the Anastasia Magic Touch Concealer. I'm mostly just putting this under my eyes. When I go in and do all of this stuff, I'll probably use this just to really like make sure the skin fleshy tone comes through. But for now, this is all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do my brow now, just one, just one brow. We're only doing this side. So this is our glam side, remember? This side, I'm either gonna cover up with concealer or I'm gonna cover up with black because it's gonna be our skull. So we'll see when we get there what I'm gonna do. You guys, look, I finally got a new brow pencil. Well, not a pencil, brow brush. This is the Anastasia number 15. My last one didn't have the number on it, but so many people have asked me what brush I use. So it is the number 15. They do still sell this. I bought mine like, five or six years ago, and it was finally time for a new one. This is like the best brush for pomade. This is the Anastasia Brow Pomade in shade Granite. I 
I'm gonna clean that up a little bit with concealer because I really do not like how that looks. It's like so blocky up here and I'm like really thin over here. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape to do that. Now I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Line and Define Strips. I am using my Anastasia Eye Primer. It is so weird just doing your makeup on just one side. For my colors today, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia Norvina number five. The reason being that these two colors right here are like perfect. I'm not even showing you. These two colors right here are perfect for this wig. So taking my fluffy brush, I'm gonna go in with that pink shade that I just showed you. It's B2 and we're just gonna put that everywhere. I don't even know if I want to use the purple shade because this one's like perfect. Taking my Tarte Shape Tape, I'm going to cut my crease. You guys have seen me do this before. While I'm waiting for my concealer to dry down all of the way, I am going to carefully outline it with that same pink color we used in our crease. So I'm taking my little ColourPop E30 brush and I'm just gonna super carefully outline this with that same color just to really make it pop. This color pink is like my favorite. I don't know, is this like pink or purple? If this color was a Crayola crayon, what would its name be? Now I'm gonna take a flat brush. This one's from Morphe, this is the M421. And I'm just gonna fill all of this in with white. Now I'm gonna do some glitter. I'm gonna use the glitter that comes with this palette. It's this one right here. And I'm also gonna use a Black Boon Cosmetics glitter. I think it'll go on better if I just use my fingertip, actually. Yeah. Now I'm gonna do my liner. I'm using my Super Precise Essence Liner. With this one, you do wanna be really careful because it does take a second to dry down. So I'm really trying not to like open my eye because if I blink too aggressively, it's gonna get everywhere. I'm gonna do my inner corner liner real fast and then I'm gonna put my lash on. I've got my glue drying right now. I feel like this side's inner liner always turns out better than the other side, so it's kind of nice that I only have to do one side today. I'm gonna do my under eye eyeshadow. I'm gonna add a little bit of detail with my liner just underneath my eye, because I don't want to do mascara. It'll get everywhere. I don't want to deal with that today. This just helps to add some definition to my eyes. Now we're ready to get into like the actual meat of this look. I'm gonna attempt to do this with a liner. If that doesn't work, I might switch to doing it with eyeshadow or lipstick. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I am running out of this. I might have to switch to using a different liner, but I'm just gonna outline all of the little shapes that we created earlier. I like that. I'm actually pretty happy with that. So she has these little like dots to make your skin look like it's like actively decaying, which I think is cool. So I'm gonna do that. So now what we wanna do is we want to add in some gray in the loops. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna take my Morphe M421 and I'm just gonna smudge because the eyeliner is not completely dry yet. I'm gonna like gently kind of smudge it. Try not to go over the line. I already did, we can fix it though. It's so hard to see. <laughs> Hopefully this turns out okay. I'm so scared. The palette that I'm gonna use for my eyeshadow is this one from Milk Cosmetics. It's one of their Beetlejuice palettes. This is the waiting room, but you really just need a gray and a black. Any palette that you have that has those colors should be fine. I think I'm gonna go in with Tombstone first. And this is just a small detail brush. This is the same brush I used to do my cut crease. Just 
I'm really quite nervous to do the school side because I'm not great at school makeup. I never have been. Now I'm gonna take my black color, which in this one is called Charman, and I'm just going to kind of create a gradient here. So basically at the very top of our loops, that's where I wanna place this. I'm kind of going like back and forth with these two brushes. This one has my gray shadow on it, and I'm just trying to kind of carefully blend the black and the gray together. This is where we're at so far. Now I'm gonna do my little nose details with my eyeliner again. So same process we just did. I'm just adding like little details over here so it looks like my skin is being slowly decomposed. I'm gonna finish this white outline that I did before and then I'm gonna fill these in. I'm gonna attempt to cover my eyebrow with some concealer. I mostly just wanna cover this part right here. And now I'm gonna draw my little skull eye outline. Because this part is gonna take so much product, I'm gonna use my liquid lipstick to do this, but you can totally use an eyeshadow or black face paint if you have it. I'm not filling in all of it. I do wanna have some definition down here. I'm gonna fill in all of this with gray. We're gonna leave a little bit of skin because I am gonna highlight this with white later. Once this dries, I'm gonna set it with black eyeshadow too. Now I'm gonna start filling in the skull side with white. So taking my Ben Nye Clown White, I have this little brush from BH Cosmetics. It's like the only brush like this that I have. Hopefully this will work. It's a little more fluffy than I would like it to be. I think I'm gonna do the outline with a smaller brush and then I'll do this to fill in the big spot. For this part where my brow is, I'm gonna use my KVD White Locket Concealer just because I don't think that this clown makeup is thick enough to cover my brows. Not doing the whole side white. I know I'm gonna be adding some shadow like under my cheekbone. So I'm only doing white until about the top of my cheekbone. And I'm gonna do some down here. Kind of just like blending it into my skin. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white highlight. little bit. I'm just going to outline this with black and I'm going to use my lipstick again. So I'm going to take that same brush. It's actually a really good outline brush. So the idea here is to make this a gradient. So it's going to be lightest for your teeth and then really dark up here. So this is just going to require some blending.
Take my gray shadow. You guys, it's almost time for the teeth and I'm so scared. I am really bad at drawing teeth. Before I do that, I'm going to just add some more of the white down here on my chin. Basically just filling it in everywhere that I didn't have it. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. This has taken me hours. I don't know how long this video is gonna end up being, but this is like taking me hours in real life. The way that Desi Perkins did it was she outlined her actual teeth. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Remember this brush? This was the ColourPop E30. So what I'm gonna do is taking my lighter gray shade out of this palette, I'm gonna outline my actual teeth. So starting in the middle, So I'm using my own teeth as a reference to do this, and I'm using my top teeth, which are bigger than my bottom teeth. And then I'm creating a little line here, just so we go and link that with my gray. And I'm gonna do one more. Now that we have this, I am going to very carefully outline some actual teeth. Like that, looks like a little Hershey kiss. This tickles so bad, oh my God. I'm going to add some of my gray shadow right between these teeth. And I'm just using that same slanted brush from earlier. And then I'm blending it with ColourPop's E29. Since I'm resting my hand on my face when I do this, I am gonna have to go in and fix everything down here. So I'm gonna do everything on top before I do anything on the bottom. That means I need to add some white over here. And then I'm gonna fill in all of the shadows between the teeth. And I'm just filling in all the gaps between the teeth with black. Was exhausting. I don't even know if these are good. I did my best. Now taking my little ColourPop E29 brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of my gray shadow from Shrunken Head and I'm just gonna kind of do some detail outline. Just to really make it look like it's like popping out at you. I am really impressed with how well this blends into the white face paint. And then the last thing to do is add a little bit of this white color just as like a highlight. Now 
now it's time for the messy part. So I'm gonna go grab a towel and I'm going to heat up my Mehron gel. After you heat up your gel, it is time to drip. Mine's in a nice liquid state. And I'm gonna just do a test on the back of my hand to make sure this isn't too hot. Ooh, it's really hot. Okay, I'm gonna let that cool off because that's gonna burn me. So you just wanna pour it along the little lines we've created. So I'm gonna put my towel down. It's just like a fun game of can we get the thing to do what we want or not. Nah. If you have like a wax kink, you're gonna love this. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, once it gets to kind of like not being super liquidy anymore, that can happen. So I'm gonna go reheat mine up. Oh my God, it's so sticky too. And this is the finished look, you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. I actually really like this year's version. This stuff I think is kind of hard to use. I warmed mine up in the microwave because the directions say to put it in a water bath, but like it really doesn't work, I don't think. So I just put mine in the microwave for like five seconds. Be really careful not to overdo that because otherwise it'll get really hot and you'll burn yourself. That's what I did at first. And I did a little test on the back of my hand and you can see it's still kind of red. The end result is so freaking cool. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.